Do you know what these are? These are little pieces of daikon radish. Today, we're gonna make Korean barbecue. Check it out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up our radish. Now we got our radish cleaned up, we're gonna slice it thin and place it into our little mason jar. Get you some water in a pot and fill it up to see how much water you're gonna need to submerge. Now we drain that water back into the pot and now we boil. This here is pure wasabi powder and that's real wasabi root. So we're gonna get a couple nice little scoops of this wasabi powder. All right, now that we've come to a boil, we're gonna add this in. All right, let's put our lid on. Give it a little shake. We're not actually pickling this, we're marinating this. So now I'm gonna throw this in the fridge. All right, so this here is the top sirloin and I actually bought this today because all I wanted was this little piece right here. This is the picanha and that's what we want. Let's get us some fine sea salt, give it a little sprinkle, get a little spicy danos, that's the red top. Give it a little sprinkle of that. But really what's most important is get you a separate little bowl, put you a little salt in there, and put you a bunch of danos in there. Mix that together. Now we set this to the side for when we're done. Now you need a cast iron pan. All right, we got our pan nice and hot. We're gonna start with a little beef tallow. Now simply just add your steak. Lay them out flat, just like that. Let it cook for about one minute or so and then we'll flip it. All right, these are done. Check it out, perfectly cooked. Probably like a medium rare. Now we got our wasabi daikon radish. These will always be better if you let them sit overnight. We're just gonna set these right here to the side. Get me a little pinch of this Danos and sea salt right here. Just sprinkle it over some of your pieces. Get you a little piece of that daikon radish. Put it right there on top. That has so much flavor going on right there, it's crazy. That flavor I just got, that flavor burst of Danos and a little salt on there, is crazy good. I know this was something different, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've ever had Korean barbecue before. And we'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling.